objective is to identify your target. Then kill them. Hello there people. This is Noble Mage First and blood. for a change this is actually a postcom or well maybe I shouldn't call it a postcom because I'm not really gonna be like commentating over this. Is this is rather more like an announcement. Uh, although this game is going pretty good for me so far and <laughs> had a really nice start there. Uh, this is actually a, a pretty good match I had a while ago with my friend Sergio Capriroso, but yes, as I was saying, uh, what I'm actually here for is to talk a little bit about the MED number one uh, game lab tournament and also to answer some questions that people ask about the Nothing is True number two tournament. Uh, about why haven't I announced it yet. So, well, first of all, about uh, the MAD tournament, the thing is that right now there's uh, nine people signed up for the tournament, and the minimum is 12. So I figure that it could be that just uh, some people don't know about the tournament, so I guess the best way, of course, uh, to promote it is by putting a video about it. So this is actually the second beta about it, uh, but the first video was quite a while ago, so maybe some people didn't see it, I guess. So yes, uh, for those of you who don't know about the MAD tournament, uh, I'll put a link in the description, a uh, link into the UB forums about it, to the, to the threat. And yeah, basically it's kind of like uh, Assassinate, but no compass, and the meter starts at uh, halfway, like silent, it starts at 350, and it's a deathmatch map. It's not an assassin, it's not a full map, it's just like a deathmatch like this one. So, yeah, because you haven't seen that, you can uh, look in my channel for MED uh, and see videos of uh, competitive playing of it, so you can more or less have an idea about its played. But yeah, that's kind of the idea of the mode. And yes, if you want to uh, get into a tournament, just uh, sign up at the thread. Uh, there's still time, but uh, another thing I want to say is that if by Thursday, more or less, uh, I don't have 12 people, I I'll try to confirm the players in the within the week as well, but if by Thursday we don't have uh, 12 people who are going to make it, then probably the tournament will be cancelled, in which case I'll just notify everyone that that is the case. Uh, the tournament has prices, uh, $30 for first, 20 for second and ten for third uh, which will be redeemable via uh, either uh, PayPal UK PSN cards or USA PSN cards depending on the way that you choose to redeem the price so yeah that's uh, as far as uh, MAD game lab goes uh, if you're interested in it be sure to sign up and about nothing is true number two tournament so well the thing is that Nothing is true number one tournament went rather smoothly, I would like to say. I mean, it was a really good tournament, everything went, uh, well, most, I won't say everything, I'll say that most things did go uh, right as anyone would wish. I mean, <laughs> they went as good as they could, uh, I think is the best way to put it, because, uh, like, there's always something with Assassin's Creed especially, <laughs> obviously it involved a lot of people there's always going to be some problems in that but coordination wise I think everything went pretty smoothly and the games were pretty hyped as well so the thing I, why I haven't announced nothing stream number two is because of the reason that I feel that the deathmatch competitive scene or maybe the general Assassin's Creed scene I'm not sure well obviously I don't play all modes it's about other modes I can only say like an impression uh, but I feel that um, for quite a while the competitive scene of Deathmatch has been, I don't know, kind of cold. And like not all the good players, uh, even some of those who participated in the first Nothing is True is like, uh, they're kind of off the scene or have been off the scene for a while. So I don't know, I mean, I just feel that even if I could do the tournament, even if I did the tournament, uh, like these days, it wouldn't be, I don't know, as good, or, I don't know, it's, it just wouldn't be as I want it to be, because, of course, I, wanna, I want it to be hyped, so I want to have the players wanting to play, and, you know, being at their full strength, not just play because they can, 
or I don't even know. Well, with the MAD experience just now, uh, which has kind of showed me that, I mean, there's just, I mean, most people didn't kind of show up. I'm not sure if it's MAD itself or is Assassin's Creed in general that kind of inactive nowadays. So yeah, that's kind of like the reason why I haven't announced uh, nothing's true number two. But I'll think about it. Uh, at least recently, I've managed to get a few competitive lobbies, which had not been happening for quite a while now. But I've been playing with um, Raven, Silver Scarf, Fox, um, uh, Scotty. Uh, Sergio. Uh, well, today I played with Wicked Ways. Uh, oh, that stun was bullshit. That stun was raw bullshit, Sergio. <laughs> I was already at the top uh, of the damn thing, and he stunned me. <laughs> that pissed me off so much when we were actually playing. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh. Yeah, so I've actually got into play with a few, and uh, there's been quite a, a few new phases as far as competitive deathmatch goes. Um, I don't. Well, there's a there's a Mac AMAD guy who I had played in PlayStation 3 as well, but recently he's gotten like really strong, I could say. I mean, he's uh, been winning a lot, even in the most competitive of environments. And there's a few other names which I don't quite remember now, but I've seen them. Well, there's Piplup701, uh, which has uh, I've, I've seen him win sometimes. And well, there's uh, the Contract Dust, which is also kind of like a new name. I mean, at least I hadn't heard of Contract Dust uh, during the other Nothing Screw tournament. So yeah, there's that, there's uh, those names uh, which have kind of like merged to the competitive deathmatch scene. And I think there's probably quite a few others which I'm forgetting now because I just play um, every now and then with new people. And I, if I find them interesting or challenging, then I stay in the lobbies. I mean, that's one reason as well why I haven't been... Uh, active in a sense in that match. It's just that uh, I mean, it's just a bunch of uh, lobbies with noobs. And what's worse is that uh, some players, which I mean, I'm not going to stigmatize anyone, but even some of the good players, uh, they don't show much interest in playing with other good players. Like uh, rather than play with the good players, they're just like avoiding you, and they just go and play with the bad players because they wanna increase their upstar or ladder rank or whatever so well I mean what can I do about it I mean it's just a choice and they play the game the way they want so kinda do much about it uh, and yup yeah, it's kinda like about it well the game is actually not so far from ending <laughs> so I might as well just commentate this last uh, minute and a half now as it, from what I can tell by looking at the clock uh, I was actually oh, wow, that was quite a death there. I was actually winning this game uh, with quite a lead. There I got a little unlucky because I think I just, uh, I mean I just knifed my, my target and that guy became a for sure right at the moment, so kind of screwed me up. Uh, that guy seems to not have noticed me. So I'm kind of trying to get him, but no, now he definitely noticed me and is just running away could get 150 which is nothing <laughs> and trying to find a way to get something here I get a stun there and <laughs> pulling on some drop stun shenanigans on that guy here I'm just trying to get as much points as, as I can from this guy before I get killed and uh, unfortunately I run into my pursuer there didn't know where my target was time's running up 30 seconds according to the enemy's lady voice and here I just that was pretty crazy you know and I, I got variety as well but still Sergio kind of caught up there and I'm like oh shit 14 seconds that's you got <laughs> I just gotta do everything I can here I just knew I just had to stun this person because 
There was another way. And I tried to get a kill. A kill. Ah! Ah! And that's not enough, unfortunately. If I could have contested this guy there, that would have been it. So, yeah, that's, that was a really close game with Sergio there. Uh, it's arguable that, I mean, or it's something I thought at the time, that the end result, all that made the difference was that stun where I was, where I clamped the little uh, a building, you could say, and he stunned me below. Like the one where I said <laughs> that the stun was bullshit before in the commentary. That particular stun... Uh, it's arguable, of course, not possible to verify it, that that stun made the whole difference, but you never know, I mean, if one thing doesn't happen in a certain way, then it may happen in a different way and you'll still lose, or... So yeah, all we have is the actual result. But yeah, uh, well, that's the game, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, remember, if any of you want to subscribe to the match tournament, uh, be sure to check the description. This has been Nobumich. <laughs> it's been a long time I don't say that as usual if you liked remember to hit the like button subscribe if you want more and I'll see you next time